It is with a special pleasure today that I introduce Bob Bergenot, the next chancellor of Berkeley. Bob. I genuinely believe that the University of California, Berkeley is, is simply the very best public teaching and research university uh, in the world. And, you know, it's obviously my responsibility as chancellor will be to ensure that that remains true. This is our generation's moonshot, solving the global energy crisis through technologies that avoid damage to our environment from carbon emissions. We are honored to bestow upon President Jimmy Carter the University of California Berkeley's greatest distinction, the Berkeley Medal. The largest gift which UC Berkeley has received in its history, which from, from the Hewlett Foundation, which is in total $113 million. Frankly, we hope that it will help ensure that in the future 10 or 20 years from now, not all of the great universities in America will be private. It is time to acknowledge the progress of this, that this country which has taken a major step toward true equity and inclusion. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. <laughs> Graduates, you renew the proud line of alumni whose education and life are forever entwined with Berkeley. Congratulations, class of December 2009. <laughs> Berkeley's zeal for public service has made the global poverty and practice minor the fastest growing on campus. We must preserve access. We must make sure that a Berkeley quality education is available to the entire population of California. Of course, that'll have no meaning unless we offer at Berkeley the quality of education that one associates with the elite private universities. So that means we also have to work hard to have the resources to enable us to hire and retain the world's best faculty. I'm just beginning my seventh year as chancellor here at UC Berkeley, and each year is a little more exciting than the previous one. We're quite proud of how, over the past year, we dealt with probably the most dire economic situation that Berkeley has faced in its modern history. This achievement, as it was demonstrated to us today, embodies the public mission and indomitable spirit of Berkeley, dedicated to the advancement of knowledge for the betterment of mankind. We could not be prouder. I, and I know all of you, feel blessed to be at institutions uh, which uh, have colleagues like Saul who can't be bought by rich private universities. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is actually the first program of this sort at any public university in the United States to specifically address the challenges that middle-class families are currently facing in financing uh, the higher education of, of, uh, of their young people. Public universities are the gateway to the American dream and the engine of future economic growth.